All right, good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, whenever you're watching this, it is great to have you joining us this morning. Joining in prayer, joining in community, joining in scripture reading, beginning the day, if you're starting in the morning, beginning the day with just some fresh manna, some fresh revelation, some fresh insight into God's word, something that will motivate you and stimulate you spiritually, something that will get your day launched in the right direction. Good morning, Sandy. Good to see you, and you're, you're always so faithful. The Munson's, Dave and Jane are with us this morning, and we got a lot of people joining us. Good morning, George. Good to see you today, and everyone that's in the house today on this amazing Tuesday. We're having a stretch of good weather here. Uh, we're going to begin to see some of the snow melt away and spring break forth, right? That's what we're hoping for. All right, good morning. It is Tuesday. Today is officially Praise God for Answered Prayer Tuesday. Today is officially Praise God for Answered Prayer Tuesday. We've been going through the Bible, beginning in Genesis, looking at great men and women of faith in the Bible and identifying some uh, godly character quality that they demonstrated. And then as we identify that, we've been praying that God would make that real in our life. So we see that the men and women that weren't perfect, very imperfect people like us, but, but they demonstrated some godly character quality, and we want to be the same way. Gages are in the house. Good to see you, Tom and Pamela. Tony's in the house. Rise up, Tony. Prayer warrior, it is great to see you today. Uh, today is officially Praise God for Answered Prayer Tuesday. We're continuing in 1 first, first Samuel, looking at, at Hannah. Hannah was the mother of the prophet Samuel. Ham, Hannah was the wife of Elkanah. They lived in Ramah. In, in, uh, in Ephraim, and Hannah was barren. And in those days, if a woman was barren, she was considered cursed by God. It, it was a, a, a something that brought shame and humiliation uh, in a woman's life if, if she was married and then unable to have children. So Hannah dealt with this uh, all the time, this humiliation. Uh, every year when they went to the temple to worship, she would be reminded that she didn't have a child uh, to dedicate to the Lord. And it would bring further pain and further suffering. But in her pain, she turned to the Lord. And she asked God if God would give her a son. She believed that God could do that. She believed that God loved her in her condition. That's what we talked about yesterday. Uh, so uh, God answered that prayer. Let's look in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses uh, 19 and 20. Then they arose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord at the temple and returned again to their house in Ramah. And Elkanah had relations with Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her, remembered her prayer, crying out to him in her pain for a child. Verse 20, and it came about in due time after Hannah had conceived that she gave birth to a son and she named him Samuel, saying, because I have asked him of the Lord. Okay, so God answers that prayer. What was Hannah's response to that answered prayer? Well, we just have to go down a few verses to verse 27 and 28, uh, she says, For this boy I prayed, and the Lord has given me my petition, which I asked of him. Verse 28, So I have also dedicated him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is dedicated to the Lord, and he worshiped the Lord there. And then we jump down into chapter 2, and, 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 and verse 1, Then Hannah prayed and said, my heart exalts in the Lord. My horn or my strength is exalted in God. My mouth speaks boldly against my enemies because I have re I rejoice in your salvation. There is no one holy like the Lord. Indeed, there is no one besides you, nor is there any rock like our God. Uh, we skip down to verse 6. The Lord kills and the Lord makes alive. The Lord brings down to Sheol and the Lord raises up. The Lord makes poor and rich. He brings low and he exalts. He raises the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with nobles and inherit a seat of honor. From the pillars of the earth, or the for the pillars of the Lord uh, of the earth are the Lord's. He set the world on them. He keeps the feet of the godly ones, but the wicked ones are silenced in darkness. For not by might shall a man prevail. Hannah responds with this incredible hymn of praise. Most of chapter two, she's just saying she's worshiping the Lord for His faithfulness. She's saying, I asked for a child. God gave me a son. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He lifts, he lifts up the humble and he pulls down the proud. He, he, he gives life and he kills. God is in charge of everything. And God has given favor to me by giving me this child 
that I asked for. Hannah here publishes a song of praise for God's answered prayer in her life. She exalted God for answered prayer. Let me ask you this morning, friends, um, what prayers has God answered for you lately? Small or large, what prayers has God answered? Oh, sometimes we don't even remember. We pray for these things, and then God answers them, and we, we, we're glad, but, but we forget. We, or sometimes we don't even recognize it. We don't even give God the glory for it. Well, today's a day to praise God for answered prayer. I want you to begin to write on, on the, the message there uh, on your phone. What, what has God, how has God answered prayer? Tell us, share with us, publish that praise this morning. Publish the praise of what God has done. That's what Hannah did. Hannah published a song of praise for God's faithfulness in answering prayer. A couple of months ago, um, a young lady in our church, her, her parents brought her um, for prayer. She had a, a, a growth on her spine and uh, it was protruding and, and producing incredible pain in her life. And the family was worried she was going to Mayo to have it biopsied. The doctor believed that it could be, that it could be cancer. In fact, it was kind of leaning toward that. And uh, so we, we laid our hands on her. We prayed. We prayed for God's power. And uh, they biopsied that. No cancer. Uh, and it was just, they're just kind of watching it and monitoring it. But uh, God answered that prayer. God is, God is good. Um, I have a friend that has Crohn's disease, and they've been on my prayer list. And I checked back with them uh, about a month ago and to see how it's going. Incredible improvement. They've made some adjustments in their diet, but God's been faithful to give them comfort and less pain with Crohn's disease. I have a good friend that God has, has really begun to set free from deep depression and anxiety. And we've prayed that God would enable them to share their story, that this would, that this would impact other people. And God's doing that. God's beginning to open doors. They're, they're mentoring people. Uh, they're, they're thinking about writing a book and get, getting their story out there. And so God is answering that prayer. Um, we had a lady come a few months ago and, and wanted the elders to pray for her. She was having severe headaches. She was in deep depression. She, she, she was at, at work. She wasn't able to function. She couldn't focus at work. Just a couple of months ago, she came up to me in church, totally different person. Her eyes were full of light. She said, I, I, I don't have headaches anymore. God has given me great joy. I'm not dealing with that depression anymore. She was getting married. Uh, her whole life had turned around. God had answered that prayer. God is faithful, friends. God is faithful. Put on the screen that we can celebrate and rejoice what God is doing in your life. How has God answered prayer? How has God answered prayer? This is Praise God for Answered Prayer Tuesday. I want, did you know it's normal for God to answer prayer? It's normal. That, that, that's the way God, he answers prayer. Let me read a couple scriptures to you this morning. First of all, in Psalm 65, verse 2, verses 1 and 2, Psalm 65, 1 and 2, there will be silence before you and praise in Zion, O God, and to you the vow will be performed. O you, God, who hear prayer, to you all men. God hears our prayers. When he hears them and they're prayed according to his will, he answers those prayers. God is faithful. Uh, let's go back to Psalm 34. Psalm 34, verses 17 to 19. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted. He saves those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. The Lord delivers them out of them all. These are incredible praises I'm seeing here. If you can be specific with us, that would be great instead of just health or, or whatever. Man, specifically, God delivered me from this. God delivered someone I prayed for from this. Uh, th th this, this job opportunity, but it turned into, it, it turned, God, I got hired. Uh, wh whatever that specific praise is this morning. Um, God delivers those who seek him. Then James chapter five, James chapter five, verse 16 says this. Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The, the effective prayer of a righteous person can accomplish much. The, 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 the prayer of a righteous person has great power in its effect. Hey, Bonnie, that's awesome from kidney issue. Thank you, Lord, as we look at these things God's been doing in your lives. I pray right now, friends, wherever you are, as you see these answers to prayer coming on the screen, you're saying, thank you, Lord. 
Even though it wasn't my prayer, it was their, thank you, God, that you're answering prayer. Thank you, God, that you're moving in our lives. Thank you, God, that you're real. Amen. Uh, God, we thank you this morning. So we're going we're gonna to take a moment and we're just going to thank him. This is, this is praise God for answered prayer Tuesday. And, and these, I'm going to go back and read all of these. I love to hear how God is answering prayer in people's lives. But let's thank him this morning, friends. Let's thank him. Lord, you are a God who answers prayer. You are a God who hears. You are a God who sees. You know everything that's going on in our lives. And Lord, when we seek you, uh, you, we find you and you answer those prayers. We, we pause this morning now, Lord, to remember how you've heard us and responded to it. We, Lord, it's easy to, to pray, but it's, it's hard to remember the prayer and then to thank you when you answer it. So today we're pausing, Father, and we're saying thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. Like Hannah, we declare your greatness. Like Hannah, this morning, we publish a song of praise to our God for his faithfulness and his love toward us. We praise you because your eye is on us. We praise you because you provide for all of our needs. We, 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 like Hannah, Lord, we, we lift a song of worship and adoration to you because you've heard our cries. You've heard our prayers. Help us, Lord, today to tell others about the great things you've done in our lives. Help us, Lord, in conversation as we interact with people to be mindful of answered prayer, to be mindful of how you've worked in our lives, to be mindful of your faithfulness. Help us today, Father, as we talk with our friends and people at work and people at school, help us to remember what you've done, to give you thanks by publicly, publicly publishing a song of praise to you today, just like Hannah, so that everyone can hear how great our God is. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, this is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice because God is faithful to answer prayer in our lives. That's why we're recognizing Hannah this morning. She prayed, she diligently sought the Lord to, for God to bring fruitfulness in her barrenness, to give her fertility. She had a child, and then she gives this song of praise to God. She remembers that it was God who answered the prayer. This is going to be a great Tuesday. Have an awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.